Once again, we are back on the Convergence mod. We are going to be the Eberrant Heretic because that was requested the most in my last video. We're going to choose the Enchanted Remnant, but I have some bad news. So I recently did a 20, 21 hour stream over the weekend. And originally I had planned to download the VOD and then just make a couple of videos out of it. But uh, what I didn't know is if you stream over 12 hours on YouTube, they won't save it. Like if I try to go to the VOD, it just says video is unavailable. So I lost all of that content and I that is a lesson learned for me from now on i think i'll be streaming every weekend try to record and stream at the same time just so I, that doesn't happen again because i lost all that footage and i was very upset because we did we finished the run where if you every time i had to level up i had to spin a wheel and then afterwards we beat the convergence mod using the mystic class and i had a lot of fun using that class mostly based on sleep which i had a lot of fun with but unfortunately i could not retrieve the footage so we got body of briar when this spell is cast it causes bleed buildup on you oh okay cover your body in bloody thorns increasing poise and physical absorption by 20 percent also causes roll the dodges to deal damage to nearby enemies last for one minute okay that's really cool we have the wrapped armament when the spell is class when this spell is cast it causes bleed buildup on you wrap the right hand armament it builds bleed on foes so it just gives us a bleed and then we have briar of the sins which is a thorn spell which is in the base game also we spawn with a staff of briar which which is a cool looking staff i can't lie and then we have the regalia of or aokid and this one is just like briars like it's the worst version of briars weapon so it does this attack ow our armor gives us int arc and endurance which is nice and we need to head to the forlorn hound ever jail the unsightly catacombs the shaded castle and what's that last one i don't not 100 sure we have the Albridge's set in Lindell, the Bloodhound Knight set in Gelmir's Hero's Grave, and the Briar set after beating Briar. And we need to make our way down to Limgrave for our first great rune. And while we're down there, we'll go pick up our usual sacred tears and golden seeds. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that stream. I appreciate everyone who came out. It's very unfortunate that we cannot use it for content, but it is what it is. I think streaming will be a weekly thing for me, just not this weekend, because I'm going to be hardcore grinding Armored Core 6. And I just prefer not to, to do that on stream, because you know first experiences and whatnot besides that expect weekly streams here on the channel all right so now we're gonna grab all these sacred tears and golden seeds all right let's go grab this enchanted remnant from down here yoink all right because we have a bleed weapon you already know what it is time to take a grail boom nice it's actually really strong using the ash of war like we got so many bleed procs that was really really quick and i've learned from previous runs that we want to bump our mind up pretty quickly before we start upgrading our other stats so we'll do 22 vigor 21 mind and then 17 17. now we'll go cheese the knight's cavalry then it's time to fight some bosses Yoink. nice all right we'll use these levels for purely getting our 22 mind the 1919 all right we'll use this briar wrapped armament do the body spell uh and we'll actually try out the sins okay that's just around me i forgot <laughs> okay let's test it out so dodge this let's try it boom 260 that's not terrible let's do the ash of war okay 500 almost jump hit and we're just killing this guy quickly so we can get the portal we'll probably need it later and we make sure we dodge into him because we actually do hit him when we dodge which i find very funny Ooh, that was a very clutch boys break he was gonna stomp me out while he's getting back up we full charge the ash of war jump hit whoa 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 heal up here he's gonna do this we're just gonna run to the left just constantly keep moving whoa whoa all right jump hit i'll use the ash of war here oh dodge jump hit all of our buffs wore out which is unfortunate jump hit nice good little poise break there let's get the repost off boom that's some decent damage we will charge up the ash of war jump hit and we should be able to finish him off with this last oh one little poke and he is dead giving us access to the portal back here which we will use later all right we are at the first boss we need to kill let's buff ourselves up with the body and the armament we'll jump hit solid damage hit him there dodge one two good little bleed jump hit jump hit good little poise break get it off oh my god that damage Okay, and we should finish him off here with the Ash of War. Nice. And that is the first boss dead, giving us the Shimmering Rune of Thorns. Pop that. Boom. Close wound. 
Strangling briars. Thorn burst. Briars of punishment. Okay. So conjure tiny thorns to... Oh, so this heals you essentially. So if you have bleed build up this cancels it out which will be nice because we're gonna be doing a lot of bleed build up to ourselves conjure thorny vines that bind around the throats of enemies causing continuous damage and bleed build up lasts for 30 seconds okay i like that a lot thorn burst grip your staff and cause a large spikes to erupt from your body and fire in all directions dealing damage and causing bleed build up on impact can be cast multiple times and then briars of punishment that's something that's already in the base game all right so we'll throw on strangling briars we're gonna take off briars of sin we'll throw on thorn burst and Briars of Punishment. I don't think we need the Closed Wound just yet. Now let's head up to Altus Plateau. All right, we are at the Unsightly Catacombs. We are here for our second Great Rune. Let's try out Strangling Briar on this little guy down here. Okay, so it just chips away at them slowly and they are... Oh yeah, they do get bleed build up because that guy got triggered by a bleed behind us. That's cool. I wonder how many bleeds it can do. There's two. Will this be able to kill him alone? No, okay. Oh, wait. Wait, yeah. That could just kill a regular enemy. That's pretty cool. All right, we made it to the boss. Oh, it's the double battle, I forgot. All right, we're gonna strangle both of you just to get that chip in. And we're gonna target the perfumer because she is really annoying. Okay, the perfumer is already taking a lot of damage from the bleed. Um, let's try thorn burst out. Oh my God, that shot around, holy. Okay, we're gonna do the punishment of Briar on her. Okay, it hits both of them and it killed her. He is very mad. We gotta watch out because we can easily die to anything he does. All right, Briars of Punishment. He he moves too much for that one. Uh, we're gonna give him the strangle again because that does good chip. Oh, he dodged. Okay, let's hit him with it. Boom. Okay, he couldn't dodge that one because we were right inside of him. Let's try the Thorn Burst. Okay, a little get off of me. He got a little bleed proc there. Jump hit back up going to use the body of briar here get the armament as well all right jump hit back up let him do his double slash we'll go for the dance oh okay one two he's one shot uh back up dodge jump hit and we take them both out these spells are actually really cool i really like the thorn burst especially the animation it does that's really sick the strangling seems to be really strong as well the way it can give them bleed is crazy all right let's use the glowing rune of thorns here telekinetic shell ritual of desecration red glintstone razor oh sadistic glee <laughs> oh what the heck is that all right next we need to head over to the shaded castle so let us look at our new spell spells and we can use all of them so far like these are pretty low requirements which is really nice i like that a lot it means i don't have to wait forever to use the spells conjure a crimson force field around you dealing damage and knocking back any enemy that touches it okay increase the damage of arborant sorceries you cast by 10 percent and grants 2 hp and 2 fp recovery per second lasts for one minute okay i like that as well that's a good buff to have then we have the red glintstone razor used for ritual bloodletting conjures a crimson sword and delivers a swift sweeping slash that builds bleed on impact and then we have the sadistic glee increase weapon damage by five percent and causes all successful weapon hits on enemies to recover your hp what we just get life steal we will level up here we'll get 20 and 20 let's throw on the new spells so we'll want the telekinetic shell i want to try that out i want to try the red glintstone laser and the sadistic glee the red glintstone razor is going to be a lot of fun now let's see how effective these are on briar himself we'll be able to get the uh, mariah's executioner sword up here as well but i want to test out all of the swords before we commit to one and i know that sword is just a better version of the sword we are using currently right, hopefully i don't struggle too much here as this boss has always been an annoying one for me Wow. All right. Dodge. Boom, boom. Oh, he does so much damage. Oh, this is not looking great. Okay, we'll use the red glintstone razor. Okay, it's just a quick little slash. Boom, boom. All right, let's go upgrade our sword a little bit. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, we'll craft some remnants here. So I think the physical damage one will be really good here. And on top of that, we'll just throw on Erdtree's favor. Good old reliable. Let's toss those on. All right, so we'll want strangling briars for him. We'll want the body of briar, briar wrapped armaments. And then I guess we could do the uh, the force field. I think those will be the only ones good for him as spell casting isn't very good in the arena as he will, you know, he has his long range sword. So you can't really play your distance with that. So we'll see how this goes. Boom, hit him with it. That's nice. Nice, good little build up there. Jump hit. 
back up. Okay, we can now live a couple of hits, which is huge. Boom, 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 dodge. Oh, we lost our uh, buffs. Okay, we're gonna do a cheese strat here. We're just gonna click strangling briar. Dodge, we'll get a hit in there. Back up, playing the dodging game and let the strangling do all the damage purely because it can do bleed by itself. We don't have to be near him. As you see, boom, it did a, a thousand there. We're just gonna give it to him again. And as long as we stay safely away from him, He'll just slowly walk at us, and then we can just allow it to do all of the work. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, he's angry now. Yeah, we just have to passively stay away from him. Oh, we went for the heal there. He didn't like that. Okay, he got another bleed there. Uh, okay, got a heal again. But yeah, for the most part, I, I do like this plan. Dodge, and then when he shield bashes, we're going to try to go for this. Huge damage right there. Okay, he went for the grab, which means I can get a free heal off. That was huge. Dodge. Gonna get one hit in there, back up. And basically that's gonna be the strategy until we win. Hopefully it's this time. This is looking pretty good, I can't lie. Okay, we're getting close. Dodge. Oh, frick it. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. We got this though, we got this. Dodge forward, dodge backwards. Dodge forward, dodge backwards. We just need this bleed. Dodge. Uh, let's buff ourselves. Jump, hit. Ah. Nice, let's go. Oof. And there is the Mariah's Executioner's Sword, the Briar Great Shield, and the Shining Rune of Thorn. Level up, get 21 at 21 here. Let's pop the Shining Rune of Thorns. Crimson Rose, Blood Star, Telekinetic Assault, Red Glenstone Shards, and Iocaid Sap. Okay. Send trails of blood thorns in all directions around you that impale enemies from below, dealing damage and bleed buildup. Conjure a floating red orb above your head that provides light, increasing all physical damage you deal by 5% and grants 2 HP per second. Conjure briar on the staff in your right hand and launch it outwards towards enemies, striking multiple times, dealing damage and bleed buildup. So that means you have to have staff on the right hand for that, it said. That's interesting okay it'll, it'll, it'll allow us to cast it does it do anything different if we switch hands that's nice because you can like you can do the combo with it like as long as you have fp you can keep going it's like boom 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 and you can just keep going as long as you have fp which i like a lot that's pretty sick then we have red glinstone shards fires numerous red projectiles from your staff that's just uh glintstone shards but gives bleed and then we have the sap which conjure a great briar wrapped hammer and bring it crashing down upon foes dealing damage and bleed build up follow up with, a, with another single downward strike the spell deals exceptional poise damage nice we got our poise breaker for the run let's go okay for spells we're gonna keep strangling briars i like that a lot uh we are going to test out the crimson robe uh telekin telekinetic assault uh we didn't really get to use sadistic glee so we'll throw that back on and then i do like the body of briar buff so we'll keep that there elfiel is you have to kill loretta okay looks like we're fighting loretta i think if we're gonna have to fight loretta we should go grab all of our weapons first all right so to get to the cave of knowledge we have to drop down here and then head this way this is different make our way into the cave item oh it's an enchanted remnant i'll gladly take that because i went to the front end and it was just blocked off and now we head down as normal oh this place is different okay Let's see what we have to deal with in here i'm a little concerned now we get all of our our friends. I also do the thorny thorns. All right, let's try the crimson rose. Apparently it's like a spread. Boom. Oh, okay. Oh no, the dog, the dog, the dog. Yeah, the more dogs. Okay, got the dogs. They're hiding in the grass. Ah, ah, there's so many of them. Chill, 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 chill. Oh my God. Go, 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 go. Just get to the boss. All right, uh, we made it. Oh, it's a bloodhound knight. Gethin. Hey buddy, um, I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna give you the strangling fryer. Oh, try a crimson rose on you. That did not do a lot of damage. Okay, we'll try this. Oh, I know we got the bleed there and right, we'll spam it. I, I like the range it has. Like, it has a really big spread, right? Do it again as he's charging towards us. That's huge. And again. Oh, get the, the proc there. Oh, I'm going to bleed myself. Yep. At least it was on my own right, so then he can't do it to me. All right, we're going to charge this up. Get it off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew, that came in clutch. Crimson Rose as he charges at me. Nice, that finishes him off. I really like that one. That's my favorite thorn sorcery one. Oh, what the heck is that? Hello? That is sick. We have to use this. Okay, we need 20 strength to equip this bad boy. Very doable. We ha This thing looks so cool. There's a portal here. Where does this take us? Oh, Shaded Castle. <laughs> 
Too bad we, uh... I already did that. So I'm just going to grab the upgraded staff and then we'll head over to the Hallow Tree. And I think I'm going to go with the, the Briar armor whenever we can purchase it. I made it to the Guardian's Garrison and I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be at the very top. Oh, no, it's right there. Huh. All right. We're going to upgrade the staff. All right. Let's level up our staff of guilty up to plus nine. Nice. Let's sell everything we don't need so we can level up as much as possible. And we need to kill a rune boss before we can <laughs> access the armor that I would like. Level up strength as much as we can. Craft another remnant for us. I think if we get immunity to bleed, that means we cannot. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, let's grab the immunity to bleed because now we cannot make ourselves bleed when we go casting our spells okay yeah i like that idea all right briar raft armaments we will hit him with the strangling briars all right, i want to try to thorn burst right beside him let's get right in front of him boom okay some good damage all right let's try the red glintstone sword boom 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 okay it's doing very fast i like that okay he wants to explode we'll go for the crimson rose there how big does thorn burst burst okay not that big so he's have to be in a good distance dodge and then pew 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 all right crimson rose boom oh that finished him nice the fact that it can hit more than once is really cool all right let's teleport over to the halog tree there we are that the halog tree is there one for int and arcane let's buy that so now we're 29 29 does that give us any more spells Ooh, we get access to the red glintstone shards we'll gladly try that out and we will throw on the ritual of desecration to buff our spells even further let's see how this looks Oh, okay. Can you quick spam it? Oh, nice. I like that. All right, time for Loretta. We'll give her strangling briars. We will, oh, she dodged it. Okay, we got that off. Can throw off strangling briars there. Nice. Now she's taking that tick damage. Dodge all those. Now we'll try the red glintstone shards out. Oh, whoa, that's some huge damage. Charge it up. Boom. Okay, we're gonna go in for some melee here because we do have that extra bleed capability on with our sword right now. Uh oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was not a good trade. Jump, hit. Nice, good bleed. Okay, jump, hit. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, we need a poise break. Nice. Now we can get this fully charged up. Hopefully we get a bleed here. Oh, she got out of it. Oh, chill. Okay, we're gonna rebuff our body and we're gonna rebuff our armaments here. Boom, boom. Nice bleed there. Okay, we're gonna hit her with the strangling briars. Get that nice chip in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Heal up. Oh, oh, we lived. Get close. One, two, dodge, 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 jump, hit. One, ah, chill, chill, jump, hit. Uh-oh. Dodge forward. Nice. Jump, hit here. Good bleed. We want to stay at full. We don't want to risk anything. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Dodge, poke, 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 dodge. Oh, my God freaking so much live nice ah ah back up oh we're so close this is it jump hit one dodge oh we got him with the bleed let's go that was tough it's okay those runes are so clutch though that'll allow us to get a bunch of levels level up all right so we can get our strength up to 20 and then we can boost our hp up a little bit yeah we'll boost our hp up to 26 and then do 22 22 on those now i gotta find where our radiant rune is please 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 oh I mean, that's cool, but that's hoping it'd be nice and easy. I like our little light that hovers above us. What is in this chest? Radiant Rune of Thorns. Hey, there it is. Nice. We're, we're just going to die here, huh? <laughs> All right, let's pop the Radiant Rune of Thorns, Blood Comet, Crimson Great Blade, Aberrant Ascension, and Blood Revelry. This is just going to be Comet, but bloody, which is super cool. Conjures a red telekinetic greatsword, then delivers a sweeping blow that launches a red blade-like projectile dealing damage, and that needs 36-36. So in total, we need 40-40. That's not horrible. Then we got this. Legendary Enchantment. Increases the damage of sorceries by 10%, and increases casting speed by 40 and grants immunity to bleed but also lowers your absorption to all damage by 20 percent when blood loss occurs in the vicinity you gain an effect for 10 seconds this effect increases all physical damage you deal by 10 percent grant 25 hp recovery per second 5 fp recovery per second and 5 stamina recovery per second so the spells that we're gonna throw on we're gonna try out the sap we're gonna throw on glintstone shard keep on strangling briars throw on body of briar and then crimson rose as well as the the blood star and now
now we're gonna go upgrade our weapon. Now we can finally equip this bad boy. <laughs> Look at it. This thing looks nasty. The jump hits are gonna go crazy. All right. Okay, we need more somber stones. I'll go grab those. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's try out the sap. Okay, it's like we're dual wielding freaking our weapon because it's like it's just like hitting with what we already have. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, we'll strangle him. Whoa, 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 chill. We'll use crimson rose on him. Nice. Oh, good damage. Jump hit. Oh, this thing does good damage. Like especially for being such a a lower level. All right, let's try out the Ash of War here. Boom, boom, good bleed. Oh, and it summons it at his feet. That's sick. Boom, boom. All right, jump hit. Massive damage. All right, let's use the Glintstone shards here. Boom. All right, Crimson Rose time. Yeah, jump hit. All right, he's going for the hammer, dodge, boom, and finish off Margit. Another memory stone, which I'll gladly take. And then once we beat Godric, we will be able to get our better armor. As I'm holding off on the Bloodhound armor, because I want to do a Bloodhound Knight playthrough in vanilla. And we can't get the other one yet. All right, it's time for our good old friend Godric here. We're going to throw him with the Strangling Briar, my favorite spell. <laughs> and use our Crimson Rose here for this to come into it. Nice. I think we missed there. One one, two, oh, glintstone shards, charge it up, oh, charge it up, okay, that we just got like a bleed proc there, I think, but still doing good damage, hold it all the way, nice, boom, good bleed there, okay, he's already switching phases, we're actually gonna use our Ash of War here to get our HP back, huge, wait, we poise broke him <laughs> before he phase shifts, what, what was that, I mean, I'll, I'll take it, ah, Okay, wait, we dodged and got it off. I didn't even see what was happening there. Then stone shards, boom, good bleed. Okay, we're gonna for a jump hit. Oh, the damage is disgusting. Jump hit, jump hit, jump hit. We're gonna go for Crimson Rose. Oh, he lunged at me. Chill, chill, boom. Fired him again, boom. Red glintstone shards, boom. One, two, oh, we get a poise break bleed combo. Huge. All right, now we can go buy our armor finally. Let me in. Huh? Wait, we didn't get the rewards because we TP'd out. Oh my god, I didn't know that was a thing. You had to wait for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I'll do this on my own. <clears throat> now we have everything that we were supposed to get. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, let's get the Briar Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and the Greaves. And this gives us Int and Arc by 2, reduces weapon stamina cost by 2%, and increases physical damage. Nice, I like that. And it's just a superior armor set, which is good, because we were taking a lot of damage there. Now we look pretty sick. All right, now we can throw on the Blood Comet, which I think will be really cool. Okay, we can level up Int by 1 and Arcane by one we'll do just that and that gives us yeah, we'll take off the sap because we are just basically using that weapon it gives us the crimson great blade which we can try out now let's make our way down to radon all right let's buff ourselves and let's try blood comet we're gonna hit him with it boom nice 600 damage holy that's actually really good boom oh oh i like that a lot he's not gonna be the best to use it on because he's gonna play super aggressive boom dodge boom get another one off huge let's try the great blade oh that oh my god that thing does damage oh it's massive too i wonder how much range it has okay let's try it here oh my god it like flings holy that's sick all right let's do our good old ash of war here boom 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 nice jump hit oh yeah i forgot that if we, if we roll into him we do damage because of our armor set and then if we uh put on this as well it stacks i wonder how much damage you could do while rolling that's that's actually pretty good rolling damage <laughs> like someone could beat the whole game doing this that's crazy i mean, they could do it already in base game but like oh my god that would take so long i beat the convergence mod only rolling all right i'll put him out of his misery here hit him with the ash of war boom boom the big slam down and boom he is dead all right now it's time to take on radon and i think we're gonna fight melania in this playthrough only because we're already there basically so there's no point in uh going out of our way to fight something else you know so that'll be interesting all right it's time for our buddy radon let's see how much damage uh, these spells are gonna do like let's hit him with the blood comet here boom oh it doesn't have huge range boom okay that's pretty good i forgot to put on the small sword if we die then we'll put on the small one. Oh, we already got a bleed let's strangle it on here let's do our crimson rose oh yeah nice boom dodge jump hit let's do the red glintstone boom 
Nice. He's already taken off. Get ready to use the strangle on him again when he comes back. All right, let's do the strangle here. Hit him with some blood comets. Boom, boom. Dude, that spell's so good. Okay, let's get right under him. Let's do it a couple more. One. Gosh, he's doing some damage to me. He, ble he bled there because of our strangling. We love that. Boom. Nice. Oh, you got to I wonder how far this fires. Okay, not far. <laughs> dodge, dodge, dodge. Ow. Get right under him. Boom. Let's hit him with the Ash of War. One. Oh, two. Nice. Got it off there. Jump hit. Jump hit. We have no more FP. Got to finish it now. Jump hit. And get the final swing in. Nice. We need more FP. I got to separate my flasks more. Because these spells are good, but oof. Dude, the FP it uses is crazy. Level up, we'll go 24, 24. Then we'll throw a level into mind. Now we'll head up to Morgoth. And this is where our other armor set is located behind this boss here. So we'll be sure to pick that up. Let's start it out with a strangling. All right, let's see how the blood comet's doing to this guy. Oh my God, that damage is huge. Oh my God, we're about to get one shot. Oh, gotta watch my HP. I always forget that I get crazy good poise when I put on body. So I'm never really getting hit out of anything. So I'm just like confidently using spells on him. Well, realistically, he's just beating me up. Okay, we'll hit him with the, the bloody comet. Boom. Boom. Dude, this comet is going crazy. Hit him with it again. Nice. Okay, he's gonna do this. We're actually gonna duck here. I am sure this will go through walls. So we'll, we'll pop this. It did not go through walls. Okay, hit him with the comet again. Nice. We'll hit him with the strangling again. Hit him with the great blade. Nice. Oh, big damage, dude. We'll do it again. Boom. Nice. One more time. Oh, hit him with the blood comet and finish him off. Wow. These spells are so much stronger than I expected. Like, that's crazy good. So we'll do this parkour because I'm lazy. Um, that's the radiant rune. I think it's in the chest up here. Yeah, there it is. The Albridge set. This is int and arc by two. Reduces FP cost of sorcery and increases the damage of sorceries. All right, we're going to slap this one on for now. Just because I'm mainly doing spells. And if we like go mainly melee, then uh, we will go back. Okay, we can do 25, 25. Put our mind up once as well. And that means we are 37, 37. We need 38, 38. So we need one more level for the ascension. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Okay, we'll strangle, dodge, we'll do the bloody comet here. Hit him with it again. Nice. Oof, wow, he's doing damage. Okay, we'll charge it this time, full charge. Ah, oh, canceled me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, 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 more god. Hit him with the comet. Nice, good damage. Hit him with the strangle. Hit him with the sword. Oh, that damage is massive. Okay, um, dodge forward, hit him with it again. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, we lived. Oh, we phase shifted him uh, because of the freaking uh, strangling. That's huge. We will make sure it's a reset here. Hit him with the blood comet here. Boom. Boom. Oh my god, the bleed. So clutch. All right, hit him with the sword here. Nice. Hit him with a blood comet. Boom. Dodge. Hit him with it again. Boom. <laughs> the nice sword here. Boom. Ah, we got skewered. Oh, that scared me. That scared me. Okay. Uh, He's easy. I just choked. Ah! Okay. I don't have HP pots though. All right. I think I'm going to switch back over to melee just because we are going to take on Melania. Something tells me that that will be better for me. We'll throw on Radon's Great Rune for now, but we're going to throw on the Mind one afterwards. Spells we will have on is Strangling Briars, the Body of Briar, the Briar Wrapped Armaments, Sadistic Glee, Blood Star. It's unfortunate that none of these have like a super big range. So I need something like that for uh, for when she's inside of the thing. Then we could do Telekinetic shield Shell as well. All right, Melania, let's do this. All right, here is the holy moly. Dodge, boom, boom. Okay, nice. Jump, hit. Another bleed already, that's huge. Jump, hit. Jump, hit. Jump, hit. Good. Ah, oh, that's messed up. Wait, we actually survived and like pretty well. Jump, hit. Dodge forward. One, two, three. Okay, nice. We canceled her, canceled her there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, we're going to rebuff our body and our armament here. Frick it, we'll also get the, the regen back. Jump hit. Oh, she was baiting me. Ow. 
Okay, we got a heal here. Boom. Ah. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, dodge. Ah, oh, dodge. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Wait, we're just... Oh, it was the freaking... I was so confused. It's the... Hold on, I gotta put that back on. I didn't realize it was that broken, the shell. So good against Melania. She can't do anything here. Wait. We found the anti-Melania. Gonna go for this? <laughs> what? Uh, we're gonna go for the Ash of War here. Nice. This is crazy. Okay, we're gonna put body back on. We're gonna put the shell back on. I'm gonna, I know she's gonna try to bait for... Okay, let's get close to her. Dodge. Boom. 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 Oh my god, this might be super easy. Heal. Make sure we got that telekinetic shield on. Make sure to give her that. Let's run up to her. Yep, it works the same on this 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 Melania. And we just gotta make sure we are like touching her at all times. Okay, we can get this off. Huge. And now I'm going to do the Ash of War. One, two, three. Dodge. Okay, she's going up. We're just gonna run. Okay, nice. Okay, she's going for this. Dodge. Oh, we dodge into it. That's horrible. Okay, we have Riot. That's not great. Okay, we gotta put the shield back on. Hit her with this. We gotta very carefully monitor our health. And we just gotta make sure that we heal every so often. We can finish her here. Boom, boom, boom. And she's dead. This shield is so broken. Oh, I didn't even know it worked like that. That was the easiest Melania I've ever done. Okay, so we only need one more level into each of these. And then I'm gonna put 35 HP and bring mine up to 29. I think that's fair. Now it's time for the fire giant. All right, for fire giant, what do we want? Okay, we're going to keep body of Briar, strangling Briar. Going to throw on ritual. Then I think uh the blood comet great blade the ascension and the red glintstone razor because this buffs sorceries and this also buffs sorceries and we're gonna switch sets over to the albridge set i still can't get over melania dude that it was so funny <laughs> all right let's get the little sword out here oh my god dodge all right we're gonna stab away at this until it breaks oh my god dude this thing's so strong Oh, I didn't put my flasks back to normal. That is very unfortunate. But this is doing damage. Okay, we're gonna put strangling on him. Dodge. Okay, we're gonna get these little stabs in here. Uh, dodge. Oh my god, that did damage. All right, back to chopping at this ankle. Okay, get this nice ankle. Ah, nice. All right, let's get some more slashes in. Face shift him. <laughs> this is actually so broken. All right, we're gonna get right in here. Just chop away at his little hand there. I think we just do the same thing here. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, okay, we're chill. Okay, we're gonna get him with strangling here. Okay, we're out of FP, so we're just gonna start smacking away at him. Ow, dodge. Boom, nice bleed there. That was huge. Okay, I wanna use the Crimson Great Blade on him. Nice, that was a good chunk of damage done. Fat 1k. Okay, we wanna hit him with the strangling. Nice. Even though it's only doing like 10 damage, the, when the bleed procs, that's huge. Okay, start smacking into him. The dodge. Nice, get rid of that. We're gonna proc this one as well. Dodge, dodge. Whew, he's throwing everything at me. Oh, again? Okay. Okay, let's get to his little thighs here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're out of FP again. One, two. We can just hit his toe here. Oh, we're getting nice and close. Oh, we're so close. Oh, he dies to the bleed frog. Nice. This little razor is sick. Okay, we're gonna get our mind up to 30 and vigor up to 38. All right, let's head over to Faramazula. Now, what spells would we want? Can we take off Big Sword or Glintstone Shards? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Because we're gonna have to spam the... Right? Uh, I think the small sword will be good at... I think the small sword will be good against Malaketh when you're like up close and personal with him. Dude. What? All right, let's switch our great rune over to increase mind by five. Pop that bad boy. Throw this buff on, heal up. Um, then we'll go in with uh, red glintstone shards. Boom, nice, boom, back up. We're gonna hit him with the 
Strangling. Go with the Blood Comet. Nice. Oh my god, damage is massive. Hit him again. He's got to be very careful because he can. He does a lot of damage, right? So he's got to keep a good distance away. Endurance is cut in half from having our nice buff on. Dodge. All right. Boom. Good damage. Okay, we need to put a Strangling back on so it chips away at him. Hit him with Blood Comet. Boom. 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 Oh, we got greedy there. But we don't die, so that's all that matters. Dodge. All right, we'll hit him with it again. Nice. Hit him with it again. Oh, he dodged. Okay, he's going up. Dodge. Okay, we hit him with Blood Comet again. I forgot to freaking split them again. Blood Comet here. I think it's fine, though. We'll have enough FP to kill him right here. Oh, yeah, because we got that Blood Proc as well. Okay, we can finish him right here. Nice. This class is surprisingly good. Like, I'm so glad I tried it. Thanks to you guys for all the suggestions, because I would never think to try it, because how bad the thorns are in regular game. And we'll be able to grab the ancient dragon smithing stone over here. Max out our staff. Yeah, we'll get our vigor up to 40 and our mind up by one more. Give me that. Okay, let's head into the boss fight. Okay, we'll use the ritual of desecration here. Then we are going to slap on the strangling as per usual and now it is time for comet jump comet oh comet boom nice boom nice you got a bleed already boom boom dodge okay we're out of fp okay boom ow ow get out get out get out don't get landed on nice heal up dodge okay we're gonna reapply strangling Nice. And now we can get Blood Comet and give him bleed immediately. Nice. Okay. Going to... Oh my gosh. Going to heal up here. Okay. We're going to put Body of Briar on. Okay. We're going to slap him with Strangling. Dodge. Ow. Okay. We're going to slash at him there. Dodge. Nice. We got a bleed. We have to heal. Dodge. 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 Okay. Let's get up to him. Start slashing away with this. Big damage. Has such a high DPS. I love that move so much. Okay, we're gonna throw Strangling on. Dodge. Okay, we're in here. We got a bleed there. Nice. Uh, let's get by him. Oh, we got caught on him. Heal. Dodge. That's fine though. Dodge. Dodge. Get out of there. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. We lived. Oh, we die. I didn't heal in time. Frick, dude. Dodge, dodge. One, two. One, two, three. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. One, two, three. Come on. Yes. Woo. Nice. Okay, we got the final keystone. Right, we can level up our mind to 35. All right, we're going to have to melee the next guy. So telekinetic shell and see if it does the same thing. Run into him? Nope. Not quite, he has way more poise than she does. Jump, hit, come on, hit him with it. Nice, got the, sh the strangle on him. Oh my God, because he has the wings, it like outlines them before he gets them, that's so cool. One, two, three, back up. I'm gonna do his double, dodge that, heal, jump, hit. Okay, we're gonna follow him, jump, hit. Oh, he freaking gets out of it. Dodge, back up, I'm gonna heal here. One, two. oh, dodge that. One, two, dodge, dodge, jump, hit, dodge, jump, hit, dodge. Oh, that connects. That's a mad unfortunate. Get a hit in there. Dodge, heal. We want to put the body back on. We need that defense up. Hit here. Dodge, 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 hit, dodge. Okay. One, two, he dashed away. Dodge, one, dodge, one, hit. Oh, huge, huge poise break, huge. Boom. Okay, now we need to follow it up with the Ash of War. Okay, we actually dodged everything there, which is crazy good. Jump, hit, doesn't connect, unfortunately. Sometimes you can catch him in the air there. Uh, oh my god, I lived. I thought I was dead. Dodge, hit. Dodge. Oh, that hit me in the back there. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that gives me a chance to heal at least. Jump, hit, and we can finish him off here. Oof. 
That's always a tough fight. And then we're gonna switch back to magic for uh, Godfrey here. All right, Blood Comet. Boom. Boom. I mean, you can just stand there and look at me. That, that works for me. Boom. Hit him with it again. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Boom. Nice. Oh, you want it again? And again. Oh, he's already face shifting. Boom. Dodge. Dodge that. Hit him. Okay, get out of the radius. Might as well heal. Dodge. Boom. Nice. Boom. Boom. Use our red glidstone shards here and phase shift him. Okay, now I think this is gonna be better here. Actually, it, it depends. We can do that, nice. Dodge, hit him with it, and <laughs> this is going pretty well. Bam, dodge, dodge, boom, do oh. I thought I could pull off the hit, dodge, hit. And we're gonna hit him with it here, it's running at us. Nice, get the dodge off. Can we finish him here? Oh, oh, uh, not like this. <gasps> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, just frick, frick you, dude. Can we live? <laughs> I thought we were gonna die. Now it's on to the final boss. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we can get up to nine, which is good. I think we're gonna mainly switch over to melee for the final fight here. Switch our armor over. But yeah, for the most part, Radigon, just melee. Usually what works best. Make ourselves stronger and head in. Jump, hit. Oh, we do so much damage. Boom, boom, dodge. Dodge, dodge, one, two. And whenever we dodge into him, we're doing damage. I mean, not a lot, but it's damage, right? One, boom, boom. Oh, massive already, a poise break. This is going so well. All right, uh, let's go for the Briar Assault. One, two, three. Okay, we all of it off. Huge, whoa, chill. Jump. Oh my god, he landed on me. Okay, one, two, dodge, out. One, two, dodge, dodge. He loves his freaking lightning spear. Jump, dodge, one. Ah, oh, he's gone. Okay, he's going for this. Dodge, one, dodge. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. this is really bad. I can't choke this. Oh my god, I choked it. Okay, one. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Oh, we got through it. Nice. One, two, three. I honestly thought we died there. That's why I didn't say anything. I was like, oh, GG. Dodge. One. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. One. Oh. Oh, we had no stamina. I was like, what the? Jump. Hit. Dodge this. Get behind him. One, two, three. Get the poise break. Oh, we got it off. Oh, that's gonna finish him, right? Nice. We put on the body. Okay, for right now, we're just gonna be on his back. But let us switch. Ah, uh, out. Right now, we're half and half. Dodge. Okay, we switch over. Ow. Okay, let's go up to him. Let's see how much this is doing. 400, not bad. Let's see how much Blood Comet's gonna be doing. Oh, he does this, not great. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, Blood Comet, ooh, 1K per. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me just get close to him and boom. Okay, we need to try to Poise Break him. I feel like Poise Breaking him and then just spamming Comet is gonna be the play. Okay, straight beside us, boom, jump, hit. Oh, jump, hit. Oh my God, he landed on me. Jump, hit. Jump, hit, jump, hit, jump, hit. Surely he poise breaks soon. Jump, hit, nice. There it is, okay. One, two, three. Okay, we're going for four. Oh, uh, we didn't get it off. Okay, we can only do three, and then we can uh, do that. Okay, he's gonna nuke, so he's gonna stay away from the nuke radius. Ow, whoa, oh my god. Oh, he killed us. Dodge, jump, hit, jump, hit, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, get back on to the horse. Dodge all this stuff. Okay, nice. Dodge, boom, boom, out. Okay, let's see if Red Gunstone Shard's doing any good. Oh, they're not bad. Just, just not Comet damage. Comet, okay. 
We're close to the end here. Okay, boom. Oh, come on. Oh, we're gonna finish him here. Oh, yes. There we go. Nice. And we have beat the Convergence mod with the... I don't even remember what this class is called. Thorns. You uh, made it to the end. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. I truly appreciate it. And this has been uh, Curtis the Cactus, guys. I will see you in the next video. Sorry about not uploading all week. Uh, I was, you know, planning on uploading stream content. But it is what it is. Time to mend the Elden Ring.